Hey guys, welcome back to Break Sand Garage. Uh, today, we're actually gonna go over what actually did the Dana 36 in. Most of you guys have probably seen uh, when I was at the track, I was doing a one to two gear shift, dropped the clutch a little hard, and blew up this little bad boy. Initially, I thought it was the gears, um, cause those are known to just like shatter uh, if you work them too hard. Uh, so, um, but it's weird when I spin the axle around by hand, it's smooth and you know, I don't feel any grinding or anything as, as if there were chunks of gears in there. Um, so maybe the splines let go or something um, for the yoke. Like in one of the yokes, maybe the, the splines just, just went or something. But we'll dig into this and see what we find. So for anybody not familiar with vehicles, what I'm doing uh, here with the tape is I'm just taping around the U-joint. I'm definitely going to replace these U-joints anyways if I, if or when I use these stub axles, but or half shafts actually. Um, I'm actually just going to tape them off, or I did tape them off because I didn't want to make a mess. There's little needle bearings in here and if they fall out, they'll be all over the floor and stuff. But to hold these caps on, on these used bearings, I'd usually just throw some tape around them. All right, so here's my pile of parts. Some of them will be used for spares. Um, like these I'll use probably in case I do a straight axle swap at some point. I can use these, reuse these dog bones if I break any of them. Um, these half shafts I can reuse. These housings out here I can reuse. They're all the same between the Dana 36 and Dana 44. You know, all these this control arms and stuff. I can reuse all that. The tie rod ends and all that. I could even use this spring right here. For anybody that doesn't know, if this is like some type of a composite spring. I don't know what it's made out of. I'm sure there's some markings on here somewhere. 
This was um, manufactured October 18th, 1988. Probably fiberglass. I let them whacking it around. But, anywho, we're gonna suspend that from the crane. And that is gonna give us an upper hand. That's gonna give us uh, the upper hand to drain in this without getting it all over ourselves. So these, if anybody's wondering, the uh, currently the drain and fill plug on these Dana 36s are a 3 8 inch uh, Allen key. See what kind of chunks we get. If any at all. Looks good so far. No chunks. A little tiny couple little flakes on here, but nothing big. Get that awesome gear oil smell that we all love. It really doesn't seem that bad. We'll get her apart and find out. With that drain for a little bit, and I'll come out and impact some of these out. Ha! Figured it out. All right, guys. I almost started prying on this and actually broke something. I didn't know, but through these bat ones, there's two more bolts. Ooh, if I can get this back on here. All right. I think you'll be able to see from there. All right. I started prying and reefing, but then I looked down and used my eyeballs. And I found these bolts right here. Ah! So these gotta come off. Holy cow, I almost broke something. Ah! Probably fall off now. Ah! <laughs> yep, wow. That would've been great. Oh yeah, look how easy that is. So if you guys' bat wing doesn't fall off, when you uh, start taking this off, then uh, you probably have more bolts to, to do. Okay. Okay. All right. The good news is I see the issue. 
The bad news is she's done. All right, let me get you in there. Take a look at this. So that is what did it. So what I can use out of this is these uh, half shaft yokes. Um, I think this yoke going into the diff might be reusable. Other than that, the rest of this is completely useless to me. So this will be uh, getting stripped down and brought to the scrap yard. As well as this Dana 36 Batwing. So yeah, that's a wrap. Um, I'm working on a video right now for you guys of um, putting in the piston over here on the old 89. But she seems to be going good. I got everything back together. Uh, she's running. Uh, you get some boosted pull videos pretty soon. Um, but that's enough of that. I'll fill you in more about what's going on with that in the next video. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.